I mean, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the way things are looking, they about to put your boy Kells under the jail. Robert Sylvester Kelly is currently on trial in New York City as we speak. Yeah, as we speak. And Jane Doe number five has just taken the stand. And the things that she is alleging Mr. Kelly of is beyond repulsive. She claims, which I have a few questions about, but those questions are for the parents. When she was 17 years old, a 17-year-old high school student, she met R. Kelly backstage in Orlando at a concert. She would then move with Mr. Kelly to Chicago and ultimately ended up in his cult in Atlanta. Where are her parents and why aren't they in the same cell as Mr. Kelly? I got questions that needs answers. These parents should be held accountable as well because there is no way I mean, at 17, I can't think of a concert that I wanted to attend other than a Fantasia concert. And I still don't think my mom would have let me go by myself. Well, long story short, this girl is claiming some very disturbing things. She says that R. Kelly took her virginity and throughout they began to have sex. And she said they had so much sex, it became uncomfortable. And she thought because they were just having so much sex and he was allegedly so rough and just being R. Kelly, she thought that's where the pain was coming from. She said she had abdominal pain. It got so bad that she was rushed to the hospital. And then that's where she found out that she had vaginal herpes. Told Mr. Kelly about it. And he said that there is no way that you have, could have gotten that from me. You had to get that from somebody months before we met. Well, Jane Doe number five says you got me all the way messed up, Mr. Kelly, because I've been with nobody but you. You took my virginity. So these herpes down here in this area comes from you. All these like all this stuff comes from you, Mr. Kelly. Then turned around and beat her with a size 12 Air Force One. Now, I don't know the last time you saw a size 12, but I wear 12. These ain't Air Force Ones, but it... Can you imagine being beat with one of these by a grown man, ladies? Because he gave you vaginal herpes? I don't understand. I don't understand where any of this stuff is coming from. Well, she says that Mr. Kelly was so demonic, very demonic, he beat her all over her arms, her back, her head. Things got so bad to the point where he made her poop in a cup and smear it. Now, these are her words. Smear it all over her face and put it in her mouth. And she's alleging that Mr. Kelly recorded all of this, reviewed the tape, and said that she wasn't into it the way that he wanted her to be into eating shit out of a cup and asked her to record it all over again. And she said she refused. And then the Air Force One came upside her head again. This is crazy, girl. This is why you should have stayed with your mama. None of this is making sense to me. None of it. None of it. To shit in a cup? R. Kelly, are you serious? How did you go from happy people to the same girl in 2007 when your physician, your personal physician got on the stand and said that you knew you had herpes since 2007, the same year you and Usher recorded that song, same girl. Now, Usher, they say Usher trying to tap into this into these charges too and feel like R. Kelly may have given him herpes by sharing the mic. Now, everybody's been clowning Usher for having herpes but he's claiming, they say, he got it from Mr. Kelly. Now, the 54-year-old, the great singer, Mr. Kelly himself, disgrace he is, he is facing a slew of charges. And the way that this is looking, he's going in for the long haul. This is super sad. They don't gave us the details of him getting Aaliyah pregnant when she was 15 and marrying her so she wouldn't be able to testify against him. And the girl, Asriel. She's getting ready to testify, the one, the, the main girlfriend. So she's about to give us the inside scoop if they don't come kill her first. Because you know people out here really riding for R. Kelly. They already don't set the girl car on fire. So I can only imagine what he has his people up to now. But according to the latest, Jane Doe number five, R. Kelly made her shit in a cup, smear it over, all over her face, and eat it. And he recorded this, he recorded it all. She even said that R. Kelly made her get an abortion in 2017 and beat her half crazy when he sent her to Hollister to buy a pair of sweatpants. This girl shared some very repulsive details. Now, according to her, the ladies were, they were supposed to walk around the house in baggy clothes. 
they were supposed to about face when they saw another man walking by. They were not supposed to look another man in his eye. They were not supposed to have conversations or communication with nobody. With nobody. She said R. Kelly beat her so bad one time when he found out that she was communicating with somebody from high school. He deserves to be exactly where he is. And hopefully the time that they give him, it's an ample amount of time for him to sit and think about all of the lives he's ruined. All of the lives. I mean, the details that this girl shared on that stand made my stomach hurt. She said at least four times out of the year, he made all the girls in his house write letters of how they stole from their families and how they were molested. She said that they had to write these lies to protect him. And he still got caught up. He's going under the jail, and I think he deserves to be. R. Kelly... We just waiting for the sentence at this point because you know you get what you want.